I can do this. The thoughts I have today are ones that I create. I'm not going to create any anxiety today and managing my thinking is easy and I can do it. Being sick isn't terrifying and I'm going to have a great day. So if you're wondering what I was doing there, I was processing my positives. This is just part of my therapy work and I'll explain it a lot better later. But it's currently 9.55 and I'm now off dog walking. So everything that I'm wearing today is actually from Primark. So I've got this cute little cropped white hoodie from Primark. I've got a white crop top from Primark. Leggings from Primark and socks from Primark. So I'm just off dog walking now which is very exciting. I also just have an ASOS parcel and a misguided parcel to take back but I need to do that afterwards because my car currently has no petrol in it and I think I'm going to break down so I need to go super quick to a petrol station and then do them on the way back. So let's go. <laughs> So I'm just currently on a walk with little Phyllis. Phyllis! She's so cute. Phyllis, hi. Phyllis, darling, you are right. My hair is a mess, but um, me and Phyllis are just having a really nice little walk. There she is. Aren't you? Oh my gosh, she's actually adorable. And she walks so nicely. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. Good girl. Um, here we are. So yeah, we're just on our way back now to the rehoming centre. Then I'm gonna have one little fuss of the dogs and then I'm off home. So I can't be bothered to lift my arm any higher because I'm actually so tired. I don't know what's happened to me, but I'm very, very sleepy and oh my god, my blister has bled everywhere. Um, so I need to sort that, but um, I'm just going to go in the shower now. I've just had my lunch. I had some hummus with some pita bread and cucumber and I'm just about to head into the shower because I smell of dog. And then I think I'm actually just going to put my comfies on because I haven't got to go out again until much later today, like six-ish. So I've got things to be doing, but I want to be comfy and cosy. So I think that's going to be my plan. I literally can't bother to hold this anymore. So I've just got out of the shower. Ignore that really annoying noise. It's just the fan. Um, but I just thought I'd tell you what I've been putting on my skin recently and what's made it so much better. Obviously I've been out in the sun a lot as well so that's obviously helped matters but I mean this is my skin at the moment like it's pretty bad to be fair for what it was yesterday. Um, it's broken out a tiny bit like I've got a few little spots I've got one there one there then a couple there but some of those aren't spots they're just scarring. So last time I vlogged, I spoke to you about the fact that I was on that weird antibiotic and it made me really ill. Well, I've swapped over now and I've been using the cream since then. So I've been using this cream, which is the Duat cream. 
um, it's the prescribed one from the doctors that you get but I have noticed a massive difference if you are seriously feeling quite like insecure about your acne or just the amount of spots on your face basically because I don't have acne I just have pretty bad skin like as you can see but it's getting better a lot better um, this is in bright light as well so you can see everything um, but yeah I've been using this now for it must be about two months no month and a half two months maybe a month I don't know I can't remember um, but it's made a massive difference um, I'm hardly getting spots now apart from obviously these which um, the majority of them are just pigmentation or scarring um, so yeah at first I did actually have um, quite dry skin because of this but then once your skin gets used to it it works so well and then I just pair this with this now this is the La Roche, this is the La Roche Posay Effacla Effacla Duo Plus. Um, it's basically I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a moisturizer, um, kind of not. It's a cream, put it that way. And it says apply to whole face morning and or evening after cleansing the skin. So it's basically just like use it instead of a moisturiser um, but it's basically for pigmentation and sorting out the pigmentation on your skin and like scarring and bits and bobs, I've got a bit of dry skin and like scarring and stuff and redness so I've been using this, it's an anti-imperfections, that's what it's called Corrective Unclogging Care, anti-marks so I've been using this every morning and then I've been using this every night so that's currently the combination that I've been using on my skin and it's actually really helping I'm just putting this on now after my shower and as you can see it just goes into a clear gel it's actually very nice and it smells so good like so good I wouldn't say it's very moisturising, like a moisturiser, um, but my skin isn't as dry as it used to be on the Duat cream, so I mean my skin is still quite dry compared to what it would normally be, but we're, we're getting used to it, you know. I've also been putting after sun on my skin and it's been really, really moisturising and helping my life out. Because obviously it's been sunny the last few days. Just pop it on me now. Go ahead, I wish you well. I look a state. And there we have it. Now I'm just leaving that to dry. So yeah, this is actually quite pricey, but um, I definitely recommend it already, and I've only been using it couple of days so um, I definitely recommend this and I'd also definitely recommend going to the doctor and speaking about this if you have lots of spots or acne like me yeah so I'm actually once again sporting Primark in my second outfit of the day it's this little comfy set really cute just got a leopard print sports bra underneath and then these funky stuff so yeah, this is my current cosy outfit now. Until later on, just gonna pop on a little bit of Carmex. Right, I'm now gonna process my positives for the second time today. Um, I've got to really keep up with this, so <sighs> let's do it. Let us do it. Hi guys, so it's a lot later now. It is actually 5.34 to be precise and um, I'm not actually going out now. So I'm making dinner and I'm making tortilla pizzas, which is very exciting. Um, I look really worse for wear, but I've basically just been doing some 
therapy work and now I'm just watching a little bit of YouTube. I'm currently just watching the Ingham family and I love them so much. I find their vlogs so much fun. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to make a start on dinner which is exciting. So I'm just currently editing this and realised that I never actually finished this vlog. I don't even know if it's worth uploading but I'm going to upload it anyway because it's footage. So I really do hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you'd like more vlogs in the future. And yeah, that's it from me. About two weeks later, looking even more worse for wear than I did in the last clip. <laughs> Bye guys.